Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic message to start your day. And precious saints, today is day four of the 10 days of awe, prayer and fasting. Somebody say hallelujah. And thank you first and foremost to all those people that uh, blessed me during this time of my birthday. You gave me well wishes. You prayed for me. I am much appreciated as I'm still spending time with the family, going through the program also as a family. So I may get to the mountain towards the end of the week before the fast finish. But for this time, I'm enjoying my time doing the program with the family. Now, the Bible says, according to Revelation 5 verse 6, it says, Then John saw a lamb that looked as if it had been slaughtered, but it was now standing between the throne and the four living beings and among the 24 elders. He had seven horns and seven eyes, which represent the seven Fold spirit of God that is sent out into every part of the earth. Somebody say hallelujah. Precious saints, God's presence is made available in all places on earth through the Holy Spirit. If we pause and think of the magnitude of this simple statement, we are dumbfounded. Gather in the implications of this thought. God's presence is available everywhere to anyone. It's available for billions of people over millions of square miles and across an incredible diversity of races, cultures, peoples and nations. It travels beyond oceans, beyond waters. So in realizing our significant size in the whole of this creation, we are dumbstruck by a realization of God's incredible and indescribable vastness and also his most loving intentions demonstrated through the sacrifice of his son, Jesus Christ. Precious saints, wherever you are today, God is very present. Call upon him and you will seek him. And when you seek for him, you shall find him when you search for him with all of your heart. Precious saints, every part of the earth is the habitation of the Holy One through the presence of the Holy Spirit. Jesus came and gave himself so that we could be invited into fellowship with God and with each other through the gift of the Holy Spirit. Precious saints, Jesus said that the Father is looking for those who will worship him in spirit and in truth. It is time for us to worship him, to seek him in spirit and in truth. And though we may be separated by the vast oceans, though we may be separated by kilometers of distance, we can be connected by the spirit of the Holy Ghost who is everywhere and in all places. We should be in awe. We should be amazed and even appreciative of being able to connect to the creator of the universe. All you need to do is call upon him today. He will deliver you. He will set you free. He will heal you. He will touch you. So as you press in today, know that God is with you. Know that God is for you today. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in you, almighty God, in whom we know you as the Father and your Son and of the Holy Spirit, forgive us for the times that we forget even how big you are and yet how much you love each and every one of us. Lord, we thank you that within your creation, even though how vast it is, you love us 
personally. And we thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, because you have loved us, that you gave a great cost at yourself so that you could draw all men back to yourself by sending your son. As your child, through new birth, we know that you love us and that your Holy Spirit lives inside of us. I pray for each person, no matter what struggles that they are facing today, that you are with them, that you are for them. Come and touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. And I just have some words of knowledge here for somebody today. There is someone that started in this 10-day fasting and you didn't, you haven't, you've slipped up along the way. Don't be overly concerned. Just continue and to get back on the bike, as we say, just start again from where you are the Lord is with you and he is going to push you through and he is going to see you through. Don't take on that guilt. Just keep pressing in today in the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone that is struggling with a particular issue and God is saying he's going to enable you to overcome. In actual fact, it has to do with sexual sin, but God is saying that he's going to deliver you. Keep pressing in. Keep pressing in in this hour. Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that, Lord, that you will come right now and give grace to those that are listening right now to overcome in all areas because you said that you would make a way of escape for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray for deliverance to come within that area right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There's, there's also someone that has gone through, but you feel like there hasn't been so much of a change. I want you to submit that, that right now to God, that God can bring that change about when you surrender all your cares to him right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come and touch that person, Lord. Come and touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone that has pain on the left side of your body right now. I just want to declare healing over your body right now in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Healing over your body. Healing over your body right now. Healing over your body right now in the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone that is worried about their future rent. Yes, you don't know how you're going to pay this rent. Lord, I pray right now, Lord, that you would locate. Lord, you would bring about a supernatural Natural provision, either through divine helpers or Lord's supernatural transfer of wealth to come to them in the name of Jesus Christ, or also grace with the landlord, also in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I declare it right now upon that person that is worried and concerned about that right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray and I thank you for the open doors that are going to come as a result of this 10 days. There will be magnificent doors that are going to open before you. All you need to do is just claim it and believe it and you'll start to see the work of the Lord. You step out in faith in different areas. If it's employment, you start to apply for jobs and watch the Lord do his thing. If it's praying for a spouse, just surrender that to the Lord and keep focusing on him. Keep glowing for the Lord and you'll start to see God also start to move in miraculous ways also. So I just encourage you today for those that have written down all their prayer uh, requests in that list within your Bible, allow God to see it through. Allow God to see it through within his timing because with God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. So Lord, I thank you for each person in 10 days fast of the 10 days of all. And you can also participate with us each weekend, uh, each week on Friday's corporate fasting and also every month for our three day corporate fasting. So I encourage you, connect into the ministry to be able to be part of those and see the Lord change your prayer life, see your spirituality grow and go deeper in God, for God has great things planned for you, precious saints. So Lord, touch them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and 
Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy. This is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this particular message, share it with somebody today. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook or Instagram, even follow us on TikTok. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. Precious Saints, today is day four of the 10 days of all prayer and fasting. It is time for you to press in. Thank you to all those that have wished me well and prayed blessings upon me for my birthday. May the Lord bless you a hundredfold. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.